Well, as potters, we think we can change the world one pot at a time. <laughs> When watching Nicole Pepper work, it's clear how passionate she is about pottery. There's something about cutting into the clay. It's just, I love making these, I really do. Her intricate sgraffito designs are inspired by nature. I like the feel of rocks, so I intentionally don't glaze the bottom of my pieces because I want them to feel like a stone. And designed with function in mind. Having something on a counter I like to have longer than a round, just to hold things because it takes up less counter space. <laughs> but her journey to running Mod Home Ceramics out of her West Seattle home... As long as nothing explodes and the handles haven't popped off... Hasn't been flawless. <laughs> there was a crack in this one. I graduated in 95 from Western Washington University with the BFA and I thought, okay, I'm gonna build a studio. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I have to get a job to earn money to pay, pay, pay for my, my supplies and my tools. It took 20 years of hard work before Nicole started living that dream. You're never too late. You can keep pushing forward in some small way and it'll all come together in the end. It's that determination that helped Nicole get where she is today. I'm learning to accept what comes. <laughs> and being open to it, and I think that's definitely with how it's been able to work. Nicole hopes she can keep creating. Just trying to make more things. <laughs> because that's how she plans to change the world, one pot at a time. So you just hope to bring peace and joy to somebody else's life through what you do, and if it can do that, that's the greatest gift, and I hope I can do that and live up to that. <laughs>